everybody. I have a very special session. This is for a baby named Gabriel. And I've gotten to do two other sessions so far. This was before Gabriel was born. This was a third trimester pregnancy support and then active delivery support. And now I get to share some blessings with Gabriel from two of his ancestors. And I'm gonna read these goals here in just a moment. Very short and sweet. I just wanna thank you for blessing my life with the opportunity to support you through this process. It's such a special thing to become a mother and now you have a healthy newborn. It's so wonderful. Thank you so much for this and thank you for being open to sharing here on YouTube. It, it's gonna be like, this is a really special session for me and for those watching and I'm sure Gabriel for you too throughout years of your life. So um, this is a, this is a long-term gift. So thank you so much for that. And also if, if any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash Abby Normals Wisdom Quest. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So you were wanting me to connect with Gabriel's paternal grandfather, Dr. K, and his maternal great-grandfather, Nana John. Okay, so we've got two grandfathers. One's a grandfather, one's a great-grandfather. Okay. Maternal grandfather, Dr. K. Maternal great-grandfather, Nana John. And their blessings and words of wisdom and support for Gabriel and his life. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Okay. Dr. K. Nana John. Okay. All right, give me just a moment here. I'm getting in the zone. I'm actually going to visit Gabriel first. Just to tune into his energy. And then through his energy, I want to bring in Dr. K. See, Gabriel is surrounded in a white glowing light. And there's a lot of, what is the sound of peacefulness? And the sound of the ocean, even the sound of small communities on the ocean. I can hear the sound of boats coming in, even people having pleasant conversations with other people on the dock, saying, hello, how are you? Good morning. It's so nice to see you. And I see Gabriel's curious about these exchanges, specifically about communities on the ocean and boats. And we're talking about sailboats, we're talking about fishing boats. I don't see like speed boats or jet skis or, but there's kind of a older feel to this too. Boats where you have to put some elbow grease in to raise the sails and you have to understand how to catch the wind or boats that um, take people to work connecting with the ocean and bringing in food to feed others, like real boats at work here. Also, his energy field is like a, a very special drop of water. Again, it glistens with sunlight, it represents peacefulness, tranquility, the element of water. Okay, I'm gonna take a step beyond here. We're gonna step towards Dr. K. <sighs> See, Dr. K represents a man with an exceptionally long beard, okay? And it's, ex it's like jet black, and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on, like his beard represents a very long time. 
it also represents stature or strength like um his beard represents position in life it's interesting he's talking about beards that if you don't cut your beard you can actually see how old you're getting based upon how long your beard is getting and if you were never to trim your beard in all of your days, then your beard would be a representation of your age. And the longer the beard, the wiser the man. And he wonders what you would think about that. If it would inspire you to grow a beard and never trim it in all your days. And Dr. K shows me modern day thinking and modern day customs and trendiness and looking sleek or looking um, posh, looking popular, and then looking unusual. In modern day society, day to day, first world world country, you could say, it's 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 common for people to um, express their personality through trimming their hair in certain ways, but not understanding there's a certain sacredness about the growth of a beard and what it speaks about a man and a man's wisdom and a man's age. I bring Gabriel closer to Dr. K. <clears throat> Feel there's something unresolved here. <clears throat> Almost like Gabriel represents a purity, represents innocence and cleanliness of soul. Of there's something um, so pure about his light. And it creates, um, I guess it feels like un an, a sense of unworthiness, actually. Like something unresolved within Dr. K's own heart. What I find interesting is that for Gabriel, it's not, um, there is no need to ever feel ashamed. There's no judgment at all in his beautiful baby eyes, you know. I'm most welcoming Dr. K to grieve unresolved emotions. And I see Gabriel's little hand now touching his hand and they're looking into each other's eyes and there is a, a beautiful glowing sensation. And I feel Dr. K wants to share something, a message of profound meaning with Gabriel, but it's almost like Gabriel's meaning is he he's decided in his soul more than it means more than he ever became in his life. I mean, that's what it feels like. Like Gabriel will grow up to represent something of purity, innocence, healing, and genuine light. It's like he will go on to do greater things because he's, there's a purity to his heart. So Dr. K is sort of, Wonders what he could possibly tell you. That's, that's literally how it feels to me. Something unresolved in his heart here. Like not worthy of such a, a place.
Gabriel's looking at the boats again. And I see him growing older, and he's maybe three or four. And he has little sandals on, a little um, shirt and some like little khaki shorts. And he looks very adorable. And he's running on a like a boardwalk. And he's running up and touching one of these sailboats. And he's patting it with his hand. And he's really interested in this. And he asks uh, the secret grandpa, Dr. K, to come. Come with him. Come on in, on this boat with him. And what he's doing is he's encouraging any sadness in the heart is not more important than the joy that we can make out of our life. And focus on what makes us happy. It's almost like Gabriel has a message for Dr. K. And Gabriel has a message for you too, mom and dad, to remember that life is about the joys that, that we, can, we can get out of our experiences. It's, it's about the adventure and the excitement and wanting to go for a ride to see the beauty in this world, like to the adventure of this world, to adventure of living. The sun is beautiful today. The, the clouds are just right. They're helping me to not squint my eyes. Like seeing the good in everything. And seeing the excitement and living. And wanting to experience as many experiences as one could ever get in a life. And wanting Dr. K to come along. Come on. Come on. He just keeps saying, come on, come on. He wants to take this boat out. It's interesting because he seems to be born with some leadership ability. And it's so gentle and innocent. It's like you couldn't say no to that face. <laughs> it's like he already wins. <laughs> There's something very convincing about his nature. And he likes to melt hearts or warm hearts. He likes to bring, he likes to heal hearts. He likes to, he likes to remind people of joy, even souls about joy. Living or deceased, we're all souls. And we all have memories and impacts that we made on the world or the world made on us, right? I feel like there's more Dr. K would like to say. I'm gonna look in the direction of Nana John for a minute here. Hmm. Nana John doesn't carry the same weight in the heart because I, I see is very. Um, just, I see a carpet with um, blocks with, um, I don't know, like engagement. Okay, like one on one, eye to eye, hands touching hands or hands. Um, engaging in in activities okay and I see different um I guess you could call them toys but they seem to be inner they're real tangible items like um literally blocks that you could build a tower with and they're not legos they're just literally blocks of wood and the different shapes, so you can see that, oh, this sphere, this rolls. This doesn't um, sit on top of flat surfaces. Um, oh, here we have a pyramid, but if we try to put a ball on top, oh, it doesn't stay up there. Look it. Oh, it falls. It falls. See? Um, there's a reason why it doesn't stay on top of the, the pyramid. There's a reason why it can't balance up there. There's a reason why this block can bounce on top of this block, and so we can put this pyramid on top of this block. There's a reason why they bounce, but then, oh, look, I put the pyramid upside down. Oh, look it. Look it. It falls. 
Look at, we can roll this ball and it can keep rolling. Look at, we have this block and it doesn't roll very well, does it? It's like um, he's getting his wheels turning, like Nana John's getting Gabriel's wheels turning about the mechanics of, of how our world works. Even the basics, like what shapes um, can move and what shapes are don't move. What shapes don't really work upside down versus right side up and what shapes don't really balance on what shapes. Like, but I feel like there's other activities going on here. <sighs> And Gabriel looks at Dr. K and says, come on, come on, let's, let's explore this. Dr. K is smiling and his cheeks are kind of blushing. And it's about how we get older and we forget the simple joys and we forget how exciting it is to interact with a little baby, a little little mind, and how awing this world can be through their eyes, and the beauty of family. And I feel like Dr. K represents something a little more clever than we're picking up on yet. Almost like he really wants to show how when you're a human being, you are impacted by life. And through these exchanges between Gabriel and Nanajan, the sailboat, and mom and dad, and now Dr. K, and it's all about family. It's all about bringing family close together. And anything that's unresolved of the heart brings a family close together and let's heal it. And we're talking about all ages because we all have something to share. We all have something that we can offer each other that is a valuable gift. And where the baby will grow into the teenager, will grow into the adult, will grow into the very wise old adult with a very long beard or no beard at all, right? There's something of wisdom that we can learn from one another. And it's about turning um, like any kind of pain inside out and we wash it away in the water and we find our smile again. And sometimes it feels a little nervous um, when we carry some weight in our heart, it can feel a little nervous to come back, um, to intermingle with family and to smile and to know you've always been welcome. You're always welcome in family. You're always welcome. And it's an important message about love. It's an important message about um, mother's side and father's side and family coming together and how we work together to, to better ourselves, to better our experiences, to better our relationships. That's what it's all about. And you giggle about this and you understand it and you give uh, one of the blocks to Dr. K and Nanajan has blocks and everybody's coming closer together. And I feel like Dr. K is saying something here too about how you make friends. And sometimes you'll notice that there um, maybe is a child or a teenager or an adult who feels a little out of the loop, um, but is kind of standing close, like, um, I'd like to be a part of this, but I'm not sure if I can. Um, find a block and share it with them and welcome them into this loop because there's only things to be gained by the exchanges that we have with others. And I feel Nana John is doing this as well by creating a, an environment where, where we can all feel connected and everybody feels lighthearted. Nobody's thinking about um, any less than anyone else. Um, we're in, having fun. It reminds me of uh, in, in my family when I was younger, we, we would all come together and celebrate Christmas and we'd all watch um, Christmas Vacation, the movie, and we would all laugh hysterically and we'd have delicious food and everybody came together and it was just this memorable time where there was everybody was connecting and you could tell that there might be disagreements between some or others but it, there really wasn't that sensation it was it was like we're all here as a family 
And that's what this feels like too. We're sharing in a fun experience with Gabriel. We're welcoming him into the world, but we also want to bless him with meaning and messages that are going to impact his life for the long term. And these are family that are still with you, Gabriel, even if they've passed on, are still with you. Hmm. Let me see what else Nana John would like to share. Nana John is really all about focusing on building your intellect, building your building intelligence as a joyful thing, as a fun thing to do. I, I see that um, anything can be used as a tool for building intelligence. Anything like a garden can be having Gabriel touch uh, plants and flowers, having him smell flowers is building intelligence. Talking about what kind of flower this is and look at what color it is and what do you think about the softness of this petal over this petal. Oh, look at these ones aren't blooming yet, but these ones are, are blooming. It's getting him thinking about, huh, this is like this and then this is like this. I wonder why this one is like this and then this one is like this. Oh, what is these insects here? Oh, strange grasshoppers. Oh, butterflies. These are, these are introducing him to his world and building intelligence. And Nana John wants you to know, Gabriel, that um, when you when you build joy with building um, your mind, you you will have a fruitful life. You will have a fruitful life. And it's not just at academics. It's um, it's it's a it's the communication. It's the heart to heart exchanges. It's, it's being perceptive of people too. It's having an intelligence when you are able to see somebody, wow, they look sad, don't they? Wow, they look angry. Oh, look it, they must have had a really good day. And it's being perceptive about people too. So some intelligences um, you could say are specific, like this is one and this is one. And when we put these together, we have two, right? So there's some specific intelligence, but then there's also um, perceptive intelligence, being perceptive about people. And he says that when you choose to be perceptive about people, that will also build a, a good life for you. It will build a good life for you. And to remember that these are joyful things. And he kind of references like under his breath that it's easier when you're younger, it's harder when you're older. Because when you're a kid, you can say the wrong thing and people can laugh and then they can help you understand. But then when you're older and you say the wrong thing, you know, you're going to know it and then you're going to be uncertain and then you're going to have to deal with a process about that. And so he's kind of saying this as um, almost like... A, you will know the difference between when you are younger and when you are older. And he, he just smiles. He just glows in his face. And that's just what he, he's come to know. He's come to learn. Because he not, doesn't want to imprint upon you um, the way that it is. He wants to, to introduce you to information, but then you decide what it is to you. And maybe you will learn something that he didn't. <laughs> so it's something like this, that you will learn that um, you can always say whatever you need to say at any age. Because <laughs> he shows a little kid and what is the concept of everybody's like, did that three-year-old just say what I think that he said? <laughs> everybody's just laughing hysterically. And then you're, you're 14 and now you're like 24. And then you're saying, and people are like, Oh, is that so? <laughs> and so there's a totally different reaction or response to you based on how you how you're seen or how you're you're received as you get older. And he feels like you're going to learn things that he it's almost like Gabriel like he sees in you that you will have perceptions or intelligences that would surpass his own, actually. And that can create um, vulnerability in others and they don't mean for it to exist there. Always, it's like always know that your pure heart and your kindness 
is it's like is your greatest gift but your mind your perceptions and your ideas and your joy in all of that playfulness throughout all the years of your life and where others may not um, welcome one in you would understand that that everybody matters is what it's like in that family matters a great deal and that in family you will find and I hear Dr. K involved in this too because it, it seems like this is an important message about understanding and being perceptive about people's feelings and being wise enough to know how to help others um, to strengthen in their feelings and bring family together where there is no um, discomfort amongst anyone. It's almost like um, you seem to me, Gabriel, like, and give yourself some years to grow, you know what I mean? Like you could be 30, you could be 40 and still be figuring this stuff out. But that as you grow in a perception and your eyes and your way you sense about people, that you could be very helpful. You could become very helpful, very wise. And that's where I see Dr. K with a very long beard and showing you that you become wise in time like the beard would continue to grow and it would show you how old you are based on how long the beard was and i feel a lot bright of brightness in dr k's heart and he seems to me that maybe he had deeper um feelings that maybe he kept more inside of himself than communicated and I just feel that maybe Dr. K had some de deeper um, sensations, deep deeper emotions and and that some people do have deeper emotions it's like um, understanding the nature of people Let's see what you have to say, Gabriel, about all of this. You go to Dr. K and you give him a big hug. And then you give him a kiss on the cheek. And you look at Nana John and you show him that you can build a great tower with the blocks and something that's very interesting and you kind of you see you must ha have a little bit of, of clever wit to you Gabriel because I see you show him that you're going to learn how to build a tower with a pyramid upside down and and you you literally you wink at him about this that you know that you are going to figure out things where it would be perceived it would have to be this way and only this way but that you will find a way to turn things upside down and make it work and that you know that you've got this in this ability to you and you also acknowledge to them both that you're very thankful to have family in spirit and family in the physical that you can feel a connection with and that you can understand their messages are unique and different as they're unique and different people they're all family and you grow very long arms and then you hug them both at the exact same time and then you hug your mom and dad and you bring them close together and close to you and you are a part of their hearts and i see that you are hugging your family in spirit and in the physical world and that you love your family and that you also keep showing me the sailboat and you show me the ocean and you show me this sunny day and you want to you want to take your family on an adventure do you you want to be in awe of this world you you feel like you 
there are easier answers to how to live a joyful life. Just go to the docks and say hello to people and it it will become clear to you that he just seems mesmerized by this image, okay? I don't even know that this is a would be it seems kind of like um almost too perfect to be real. A small, adorable little community where everybody knows each other. And maybe that represents family too, and friends, and community, and people being in joy and connection with one another. And the gift of, of the hard work, the boats that go to work, and then the sailboats that require some elbow grease too. Um, but the joy of living and again, reflected in the water and the sun that lights up the water, lights up Gabriel's spirit. And there's definitely the element of water, the element of, of emotions and meaning to life, like the meaning of life. Hmm. This is really nice. That's all that I have to share for right now. That was pretty cool. <sighs> hmm. This is really meaningful. I just feel like I have so much to think about. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. Um, thank you, Gabriel. It's really nice to meet you as a baby <laughs> before you were born and now get to meet and these beautiful family members and to experience their message for you and reflect on what that means in my own life as well as the thought of you getting to receive this message anytime you want throughout your whole life and what it could mean to you in 10 years in 30 years in 50 years you know what i mean and how a message like this can impact us for i mean it can be timeless try to imagine myself having a message like this and how it would have impacted me at different years of my life. I feel like it's going to unlock new meaning for you as you get older and reflect on it in a new way. Hmm. Thank you so much and thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great day.